Hello everyone. Welcome. Today, we're tackling a common headache in SQL, insert queries that just will work. We'll explore the usual suspects behind these frustrating errors. We'll learn how to identify and fix them. First, double check your syntax. The insert into statement requires a specific structure. Make sure you have the correct table name. Confirm you have the correct column names within the parentheses. Verify you have the values keyword followed by the values you want to insert, also in parentheses. Ensure the number of values matches the number of columns you specified. A mismatch here is a frequent cause of failure. Second, verify your data types. SQL databases are picky about data types. If a column is defined as an integer, you can't insert text into it. Likewise, dates need to be formatted correctly. Check your table schema. See what data types each column expects. Then, ensure your inserted values match those expectations. Use explicit type conversions where necessary. This might involve using functions like cast or convert. Third, consider constraints. Your table might have constraints like not null or unique. A not null constraint means a column can't be empty. If you're trying to insert a row without a value for that column, the insert will fail. A unique constraint prevents duplicate values in a column. Trying to insert a duplicate value will also trigger an error. Review your table's constraints. Make sure your insert statement adheres to them. Fourth, pay attention to string values and escaping. When inserting string values, they need to be enclosed in single quotes. If the string itself contains a single quote, you need to escape it. This is usually done by adding another single quote before it. For example, the string, it's a nice day, should be inserted as, it's a nice day. Different database systems have different escaping rules. Consult your database's documentation for the correct syntax. Fifth, check your permissions. Your database user might not have the necessary permissions to insert data into the table. Make sure your user has the insert privilege on the target table. You can use grant statements to give users the required permissions. Sixth, examine the error message. SQL error messages can be cryptic, but they often contain valuable clues about what went wrong. Read the error message carefully. It might tell you about a syntax error, a data type mismatch, or a constraint violation. Use the error message as a starting point for troubleshooting. Seventh, use a database management tool. Tools like MySQL Workbench or DBeaver provide better error highlighting. They help identify syntax errors in your SQL statements. These tools can significantly speed up the debugging process. Remember to test your insert statements in a development environment. This prevents accidental data corruption in your production database. Once you are confident, apply the changes to your production database. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your support helps us create more content like this.